So people, today we have some magic gathering of Rena. We are going to do an constructed event run just to get our 40 lands and then we're gonna probably stop the stream and we're gonna go and do some more giraffing. So let's just do the let's play 40 lands. I like this deck, I call it Deathly Terrors or something like that. It's really fun, it's my Golgari deck. It doesn't win all the time, it's got a fairly okay win ratio though. So average wise it, it works out rather well. It's not your Takari decks, it's not your control decks, it's not your counter spells, it's not your complete instant deck. But it's got a few tricks. And it mostly works on just removal. It's got a very bad game though, like four mana is pretty much your go to. If I've got one mana, I can use Golden Demise, which is great. Actually, Golden Demise is really underused. It's really, really good. Okay. Your opponent goes first. Of course he does. So we'll wait for him. We're going to keep that because we only need one mana to do most of the stuff we want to do in that one. And we're seeing familiar colors straight away. Is it love of the new expansion? He's definitely, definitely one of the loved ones. Okay, so we've got an overgrown tomb. Now we can't play anything just yet, so we'll have it into tap. I see some white. So what, we're looking at Tefiri. Tefiri deck, for sure. Raul and Tefiri. It's good for Kaza, yeah. Raul and Tefiri, straight off the bat. Okay, so let's start by populating. And then we'll go straight to combat, we'll attack and we'll smack him. Hopefully we can get some early damage in, start laying some hurt while he builds up. It, pretty much if he gets to a certain amount of mana he wins anyway, he's just dead. So he's playing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to combat, going to attack, going to straight up hit him, do some damage, going to play this, you can counter spell it, who cares, it literally just is more sapling. But it burns on your counter spell. Yep, that's fine. And and then we're gonna go to his turn next. I think they're sorceries. Yeah, so they're not instances, so we can't really just sit on them. He's searching, searching, searching. Search for Kanza. Great card. When they first came out, they were literally like five bucks. Okay, yeah, so board wipe time, which is fine. We like board wipe here. But he needed to buy time. Okay, so we can pay the life, but what does it do for us? We pay the life. Absolutely nothing, because we have nothing in the graveyard we can cast except for this guy. I'm holding on to him. Um, I'm just gonna kill his stretch for a time so now that he's tapped out. It's kinda rude, but we'll get that done. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> you wanna wipe my board? Well fine, I'll wipe your enchantment. <laughs> yeah, to theory, that's great. Oh, I wonder if he's got a counter spell. If he doesn't have a counter spell, we're going to kill him. I won't hide from the weenie. This isn't faster. a fight you can win. So we'll see how we go. Oh, he's got a counter spell. Everyone who has a Tefiri has a counter spell, right? Oh, no. Wrong spell. That one, thank you. And he's going to go counter. Counter. Um, not sure. This week or the next. Did we just kill Tefiri? We killed Tefiri! Tefiri died! I won't let you win! So worth it. Bye Tefiri! That's just got a card. Oh no. Well, clearly board wiping is not a problem here, so let's just get rid of that. So we're going to play this guy. We're gonna pull our playcrafter out. He's gonna of course counter spell it, that's fine. Yeah, see, that's fine. Absolutely fine. We knew it was happening, so it really wasn't an issue. Two damage. As long as Tefiri dies, we, we just accomplished an entire goal. Now he's got another counter spell. He's sitting there, he's waiting to use it. Um, I guess we can make him use it. Burn three counters. He's not drawing at the moment. That's one thing to remember. He is not drawing. So, he's not getting the extra draws from the search for Tarns or anything. He's probably going to Lightning Bolt my Tender Shoot, that's fine. It's absolutely fine. He can do whatever he wants. I'm going forward to turn, he's going forward to turn, he's not getting any extra cards. Explosion. Yeah, okay, now he got some extra cards while killing my thing. Very, very good for you. But, 
that's like some of his trump cards right there. So Trakans is back, we need to kill that, like ASAP. Oh, look at that! I wonder if he's got a counter. You reckon he's got a counter? Nope, he didn't have a counter! <laughs> that was all fun, that was actually legitimately fun. <laughs> <laughs> that was legitimately really, really fun. Um, I'm going to throw out my old tree board, because he's not going to have any tree trees, so I don't really care. We're not going to sack anything, but he's going to have to discard next turn. And then I can play something from my graveyard that he can't count. So I guess we'll just straight up play whatever we need at the time. Oh, the tennis should dry it is what we're going to play. Oh, that was definitely in Clarion. He discarded. Okay, cool, cool. We're actually doing really well. Um, I'm gonna play Vaska. He can counter Vaska, but then we can just play Vaska. Yeah, see, so uh, now we can just play Vaska straight to the battlefield. With, um, the last step of L3 Born. He's really hurting. He's down to three cards as a control deck. This is great. This is, like, super, super great. Okay, I'm gonna get Vaska. Vaska has six health, making it really, really tough for him just to straight up murder. And I'm gonna make a pirate, prisoners. and this is... Probably gonna go downhill for him. Really, really quickly. This is a lot of fun. Woo! We'll go down to Fury Dex, am I right? We'll play a Burglar Rat. Okay, if he counterspells a Burglar Rat, then he's using a card to counterspell a Burglar Rat. So, either way, the good thing about Burglar Rats versus Control is it's a, it's a one drop that then messes their hand up, no matter what. Ah, Justice Strike. Cool. Um. We'll create another pirate. This is My really going downhill for him. As long as I can keep this momentum up, this will be amazing. Get him! <laughs> He's probably going to sell the wreckage in that hand, maybe? Yeah. Golgari on the offensive. This is awesome. Land everywhere. Life total becomes one? Should we? Life hangs by a thread. We won't attack with everything, we'll just attack with one thing. And we'll use this. This is this guy's last card. I will kill the car the rat. And he loses his death in Clarion, that's cool. Awesome. Very, very good. Yes! Bye, Tapiri! Come back next time! <laughs> so, blowing up the search for Akansas is, like, super fun. Like, as soon as you do that, it's, like, really, really good. Really, really good fun. Okay. So, we're back in. Maybe less luck this time, but... Golgari is really good, and... Oh my god, that Ixalan Vaska... Totally the best RP you can get. Like, definitely. I used my last Mythic I got from the draft. Like, I, I had a Mythic wildcard, and I'm like, screw it, I'm buying Vaska. Okay. That's actually a pretty good hand. Starting with a rat, we've got a 4 mana. This is a heavy mana deck, so you want to try to start with 3 or 4 mana whenever you can. I'm going to enter that tap so I don't have to lose health later. And then we're going to go with the Burglar Rat. Like I always say, the Burglar Rats are amazing. They'll either cause the spells which makes them discard or burn their card up, or, worst case scenario, put them back a turn. Now this is an Explore deck. This is very, very painful for me. Because what you're going to see is a rush of those uh, Exploring Merfolk, um, the Exploring Scout guys, no, that, but this is what I was talking about, the Exploring Merfolk. So there's another one that's 3 mana, 2 green and 1 black. Yeah, and here's the scout I was talking about. Now every time one of these guys explores, he goes forward either a card or a land. Oh, that's a Doom Whisperer! Very bad for me. He's revealed that. Oh, he dumped it in his graveyard. Okay, alright. We're, we're good with this. I'm going to hold on to my rat right now, just in case I need to draw some more cards, because we really need to bulk out for a bit, get a board wipe ASAP. How much does he cost to cast two? Yeah, see, one ritual soot or something, and we're back in the offensive here. 
So we've got a few board wipes. We just need to hold out long enough for these board wipes to get on the field. So he's exploring. That was land and a Doom Whisperer. So he's going to leave the Doom Whisperer there. He's got two Mythics in his deck. So far. that's a very interesting deck. Oh, look at these things. They're going to be swinging for lots. Now we just need to hold out just long enough. So I'm going to block the four. And we'll hopefully get the stuff we can use. Ooh, okay, so we're going to use the Playcrafter right now just to kill something. Slow him down a little bit, get something that can beat in one of his stuff. I should have killed my Burglar Rat. I always kill my token, but I really should have killed the Burglar Rat. So that I had something to bring back from the graveyard. Okay, so now I can block with the Playcrafter at least anyway, when you're up with me. And probably murder something. Ooh, I really need a board wipe like yesterday. Totally need a board wipe like yesterday. Um, we'll do this, we'll do this. I have lots of things that I could be using, but I just don't have access to them. So, you know, we don't have any creatures right now. Elder Reborn. Yeah, we'll drop an Elder Reborn. Try to slow down this damage a bit more. Is he going to kill his Doom Whisperer? Nah, he wouldn't kill his Doom Whisperer, right? I was about to say, is that even a choice? Like, the 1-1 one, one, or the 4-6 or the Doom Whisperer? <laughs> what would you get rid of? He's doing 10 damage at least next turn, maybe more if he explores again. Yeah, like, that's not even a question, is it? Um, so we can go with the Dryad, but we're dead either way next turn. Pretty much, we need a board wipe this turn. Yeah, no, nah, either way, we can't deal with the Doom Whisperer. If we get, if we get that, uh, what's it called? Statue status? Status statue? We could probably kill the Doom Whisperer. We're top decking at this point though. Oh no. Oh no. Why didn't he do that before? He would have done like an extra point of damage. Terrifying. And a Golgari gets a fine target. Yeah, this guy's definitely going to get me. It's great though. Like, good deck. Good deck. You can't really fault someone on having a great deck like this. Um. Look, I'm just going to go to that. Enter tap. Going to play that. This is all I've got. But he's gonna hit me with the thing, so pretty much it's GG, right? GG. Good game. Those explorer decks are really, really tough. Um, if I started the game with any of my board wipes, like Ritual Soot or anything like that, it would have been a much different story. I could have Ritual Sooted, Ritual Sooted, and boom, board wipe, board wipe, clean it all out, start again. But, we didn't get that. Whoa. No land. Two costly punters and a rat, though. <laughs> I wonder if my next card's land. Should we take this? Like, just take a risk. Live on the, live on the risky side. One land. Uh, I can see this going very, very badly. But what? We can lose three times and we already... Like, we're just playing land to get our goal for the day, so we'll do this, we'll, we'll go in, we'll try it out, all we need is one land, one land and then we can do stuff, oh no, against a burn deck too, ah, <laughs> okay we got that one land, play the rat, the rat's probably going to get killed though against this deck, he's probably just going to burn like a shock on it or something, yeah see there's a shock, he, he's probably just going to burn a shock on the rat, which would suck for me, because I don't have... Ah, oh, no blockers. We can... He's going to kill my rat, though. Ah, oh, no, no, he's going to kill the... Kill the damage. That's actually really good for me. Um, well, in that case... Let's play Doom Whisperer. Doom Crafter. We'll kill my rat. He'll kill his little 1-1. One -one. And then we'll do that. Keep the damage down. Just keep killing stuff. Yeah, he's got haste, he's fine. And you're gonna, yeah, you're gonna kill that, so you can keep the damage up. So, what's that, two, three, four, yeah, four damage. Alright, that's cool, no problem, we're gonna take out Poison Super Archer. He's gonna attract a Lightning Bolt. Yeah, Lightning Strike, boom! Okay, that's cool, no problem. We can't keep the creatures on the board to save our life right now. However, we draw one more mana. No, we drew a fine broker. This guy's got a higher health, so he won't just be able to straight up lightning bolt him. Fine. Um, he only has two cards in his hand. You know what I'm really tempted to do? 
I'm actually really tempted just to bring back the rat at this point, so I'm going to bring back the plague crafter. Just to kill one more of his stuff, like, removal is becoming pretty important, as important as discarding. Probably should grab the rat, maybe. I'm not too sure. With burn, you just have to try to stay ahead of the curve. So he's going to lightning bolt me no matter which one I block, so I'm just going to kill one of these, because I need to stop the damage. That pressure is like really turbulent. Hey, okay, ritual soot. Here we go. Let's get rid of these. Let's stop that damage. Now, if he's got two lightning bolts, we're dead anyway. A lightning bolt and the shock, we're dead anyway. But at least the creatures are dealt with. So that's good. There's a lightning bolt, and if he has a shock, we're done. No, you can sacrifice him though and do one damage. Done. Good game. GG. That was, um, trying to keep the head of the curve with burn decks is really a challenge. If you haven't got a like a lot game, you've got to worry about it all the time. But it's pretty much remove their creatures, because they're using those creatures for anything. They're just trying to burn through them for damage. So with two losses, one win. Not great, but those two decks, you know, it was good games. It was actually good games. That's what I love about the Skolgari deck. They're fun, they're interactive, you don't feel like you're getting flogged. Okay, um, we're not taking the hand again, are we? We draw one land. We can go all sorts of places. Ooh, don't do it. We're taking Mulligan. There's three land. And there's our four. Done. Okay, there's our four land. Lavender Elves! Yay! Okay, so we'll throw out the green land. Well, this is a bit I hate. When you have service of stature, it just checks every time because it's an instant even when you don't have a creature as long as they have a creature it will just keep checking all the time resolve assassin's trophy ah not those guys again we're gonna have to get out some stuff as soon as we can um let's play this we need some blockers You and, um, like, the Doom Whisperers are going to be in here as well. One thing to remember. This thing's going to come out, he's going to start exploring, he's going to start buffing it up. Fine, stop the damage as soon as we can. Okay, um, we can't do much this turn. So it is really up to him, but we're going to go from this to next turn and we're going to kill this guy. Or a Doom Whisperer, one of the two anyway. But we're definitely going to hurt him. Okay, there's another one of those things. That's great. And I'm guessing he's going to play Scout or Merfolk. Yeah, Merfolk. And he's going to explore twice. They're both going to get a plus one counter. Or, depending on what he does. We're going to have to murder them. We're just straight up going to have to murder them. So he's going to take the counters. So they're going to go to 2-5. Yeah, 2-5. Yeah, they're going to go to 2-5. 3-5. Yeah. Okay, so now they're going to swing, we're going to have to block, we'll throw him under the bus of the 4 damage, and we're going to try to pray to god that we can get a board wipe again, we never get our board wipe. Alright, so let's just kill one of these before they get outrageously strong, that one, I don't know why that one, but we're picking that one, okay. Hey, Vaska! You won't see the end coming until it's too late. No, I see the end coming, alright. It, it's definitely coming. Um, unless I get a board wipe. If I get, like, one ritual of sort, you will fall apart, but I don't think I have the health. Like, it has to be this turn. This turn ritual of sort. Alive or alive? Like, your hand's done as well. Like. Hey! Okay. We can do this. They're all gonna die. Boom! Oh! <laughs> that was fun. That slows down his attack, at least anyway. Oh, by the way, these guys here, right? They also give you three health every time they explore. It's insane. I see why people like those decks. Get another ritual of soot, though. I still die because this thing here can keep alive using ritual of soot. Um, 
We'll play our sniper. Uh, he can rush us now. Rushing would win. Yeah, rushing would definitely win. He's not going to, but he could. Everyone is extended. Take one damage. As an archer fires at you. Is there anything else in there? No. Oh, I need to pull another ritual foot like now. That'd be great. Thanks. Nope, no ritual foot. Okay. We're just gonna go with the Golgari Finder. We've got nothing to get from the graveyard, but we need the blocker. We're dead anyway. But that was a lot of fun. Again, good game. Good solid game. Minus nine. One more scratch. I don't really need the one more scratch. Thing. It's fine. Yeah, you've got the superiority. Fine. I slowed you down that ritual foot there. It hurt you. <laughs> I'm happy with that. Okay. Woo. Okay, we did very, very bad. Um. So, we need to go again though. What do we get? Forerunner of the Empire. And Street Riot. Woo. Street Riot. No, we didn't get our land. So we'll have to go back in. We didn't get enough. No. Well, normal game we did this. Right? Okay. Death of Terrors. We'll go in. Okay, so the one thing I do like about that deck is it plays to a fashion that is quite fun. If you get unlucky though and don't draw your rituals or anything else, people can just straight up rush you. And magic is very, very rushy at the moment. Like, rushing is definitely what people are doing. Okay. We'll play black as well. I see your black and I raise you one black. I see, you, I see your black's gonna raise you a diamond horse. Oh, we haven't come all stronghold from your face draft. I actually can't wait to have a look at that. Throw out a card. I dare you. How much money does he cost too? So ritual foot will hit him. Great. Because we actually have one in our hand. <laughs> he attacks with the horse! Walking corpse. So is this a, um... Mono black zombie there? Like, I'm not really sure what this is. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to try to be tricky. Something I usually forget to do is, um... You go into their turn when you have an instant. And you play the instant in their turn. That's the whole idea behind it. So we'll go to attack, right? He's going to strike out, and instead of taking two damage, we'll class this guy's blocking that. But, now, we don't want him to die uselessly. So we're just going to submit, we're going to murder him. Now, we could have also given him plus one, plus one, and death touch, but killing a 2 2 with that kind of spell kind of isn't worth it. When we can just ritual sit next turn and murder them all. But that guy counts as blocked, so we only took one damage. Really technical thing, but something to remember with magic is you can play instances as a reaction and you can be really, really stealthy with it. Okay, we're going to ritual a slip now. The earth's all going to die. He's going to be left with a 1 1. This will come back. Sapling. That's fine. Done. Good. Okay. That slows down his approach. Give him the center. So his deck definitely works upon King's Dying. I'm happy to help him with that. We'll throw out an archer and we'll move on to the end of his turn here. So I'm really happy to help him with King's Dying though because everything that dies will cause him one damage now. Hey, Triple Cup, That's fine. We'll get it back with the Golgari. Fine broker. He might have another one, but he's running out of cards and we've got all the cards. And he's only swinging for two damage. So. Not much. It will add up though. It definitely does add up. Okay, so we got another land. We'll throw that down. We'll go to the fine broker. And we'll pull back our... We can pull back the rat. Making this guy a card. No, we want the archer. Very important to have that archer. Okay, combat, attack, and... Now, he's a 
four, which will probably be stronger than most of his stuff too. We're definitely playing a land. We need like forty or so land. Hey Sakura. Zombie! So that's what he was hoping for, the Death Lords. I knew it was mono black with um Death Barons in it. I knew that was gonna be a thing. So he's deciding not to attack. That's really interesting. Um okay. So what do we do? Is he a three drop? Haha! <laughs> Let's murder it. What do you need? We'll just drop a Vaster out because we can. We've got a deck that brings things back. And this poor Death Baron, that he's hoping to get a lot of use out of, will just die. Straight up die. Done. That, that spoils his plans. Next turn he's going to rush my um, Vaskar, which is fine. He's going to murder it, but we're going to get it back. Somehow, like, Elves Reborn. Heaps of tricks. But, like, when it comes to Endurance Runs, you don't want to fight a Golgari deck in an Endurance Run. It doesn't work out to your advantage. Yeah, so he's going to murder, he's going to be like, Screw you! You killed my Death Baron! That was crucial to my plan! Plus one, plus one, and Death Touch and everything! No! I would have just played them, Death Baron. You, you, you wouldn't just go one night, you'd have like four. <laughs> he's like charging Vaska with like everything. <laughs> he's like, no! No, Vaska! <laughs> <laughs> that stings. That was fun. Okay, um, so we're gonna go with... Playing to Barter again. He could murder that again. He's got a very attacky, toxic deck. And we're gonna throw the right out, which will make him discard a card. Now, it's probably gonna be an instant, since he didn't play Creature. That's a walking corpse. It was a Creature. Okay, so we're gonna attack, we're gonna end. And then next turn we're dropping the Elder Born, because that's just the way we're going. We also have two status batches, which we can use to kill his Death Baron, because he drops more on the field. Just keep killing those Death Barons. Or an Open the Grave. So if, he kills it, if he drops an Open the Grave, we can get rid of that as well. But he's stalled out in four mana. So at this point, if he hasn't opened the Grave, he's not going to get to it. Grave Digger. Let me guess, you're getting back your Death Baron? <gasps> I'm surprised. <laughs> Okay, attack. In combat. My turn. He didn't play it though. Ah, look. Go one stage ahead. We'll make him lose something. He'll probably get rid of him, so he's only just got something to find a death touch. What, really? You let the sapling die? Wow, okay. That's fine with me. I would have killed your Doom Desiccator so that you could have got, like, a token out with a zombie with death touch. But he probably did the same thing I did. He always just probably picks the token straight away and just like, I'll just pick the token. So, it doesn't matter. I don't know if that thing is the only thing Death Touch. Um, and we can just kill the Death Baron next turn. And he's going to discard his last card. Oh no, he's trying to hit me for free damage. Ow. <laughs> Still 10. We're good. And he's going to play Diagraphal. If he's like, ah, oh, that's going to be strong for me next turn, I'm in a good spot, and then I'm going to make him discard a card, but that's why he played the ghoul, and we're just going to kill the Death Baron again. So he's top decking. Bye, Death Baron. Oh no. <laughs> oh no, what happened? This is why we didn't kill the Burglar Rat, because we wanted to draw some more cards. And hopefully, yes, okay, that's really good. That's really, really, really good. We've got a 10 to Dryad. So, that's where things, if we can survive long enough now, that's where things is going to turn around on him. Is if we can get that Tempestry Dryad out and it doesn't get murdered. But, if it does get murdered, we can drop the Fine Broker out. Or we can use the Elder Scribble one to bring it back from the graveyard. Either way, it should be great for me. We're looking at Gravy. He could rush, he's got the advantage. I don't, he really should rush. Like, a couple of rushes in a row might win in the game at this point. Um, I'm going to murder something, of course, because I have to at this point. Let's kill the Diagraph Ghoul. One of these two twos is going to die. And he's still going to do, what, five damage. Ah! So much pain. But we're dealing one damage. Now we need health. We need our Vaska back. So that's what we're going to do at the start next turn, is we're going to bring Vaska back. With, um, Eltry Born, because we need to start healing. To make up for all that one damage that we've been taking. So we're gonna throw that out. Wherever I go, um, we're gonna sacrifice the permanent. Everyone is expendable, except me. We're gonna sacrifice that green. We don't need all that mana anyway. Should never bother. Oh, we should all soot. Yeah, why not? 
Goodbye, all of you. Okay, and we will resolve. Boom, boom. Now he's still gonna be able to rush me, so I'll use a fine broker at this point, and we'll dig something out of the graveyard. What should we get? Elder Reborn. Sounds great. Okay, so this should start getting us back on top. It's a very slow process for me. But, it should start working. Now, it really depends on what he draws, obviously. But we killed two creatures. He got a zombie. Well, that was always going to happen. We really need to kill that guy, though, at some point, anyway. So, I was happy that he didn't do anything. Um, if we... Ritual Soot again, we'll kill both those. Should we? He's not doing anything. Alright, well, we'll just Ritual Soot. Goodbye! <laughs> what happened to your creatures? Oh no! <laughs> that skeleton guy you keep bringing back hurts you for one damage constantly, right? <laughs> okay, that's terrible. Um, we will kill a land, get one health. Resolve. Sometimes sacrifice is we'll necessary. We'll kill that swamp. And we'll draw cards, and then we'll go we'll play it into tap, that's fine. And then we'll go to combat, go to attack, and go no attackers, and then we'll go end. Okay, so at this point we're keeping his attackers down, really down. Pretty soon we can get the Vaskers, like, if we just do one more sacrifice, we can get to 10, and then we can have it so all we have to do is continue with a creature, which would be great. He's in a bad situation now. And he's passing turn. I don't know why. I'm very hoping to keep enough blockers. What's in your hand? I should bring back that rat, right? Um, okay. Well, look, if we're gonna be a standoff for this entire duration, I'm gonna change the standoff into. Oh my god, look at all the things everywhere. Pain <laughs> is our game. So we're gonna get his life back. That life is very important at this point. And I guess, um, look, we don't need the saplings yet, and is that sorcery? No, nah, yeah, we've got enough for an instant kill. So, we'll go across, we'll see what happens. This tendency drive is going to make it really awkward for him really fast. Going to put us back in the offensive again, is what it's going to do. If he doesn't murder it anyway, if he does murder it, we've got an Elder Reborn. So we'll just go straight to Elder Reborn and make it really rough for him. But yeah, these tokens are going to just keep generating, 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 generating. Um, alright. We just need to hit him, right? Your next mistake is your last. So, I guess at this point we will just do that. Shitload of tokens. <laughs> and then we'll go to combat, attack, and swing with this. He can block it with his 1-1, one -one, but it still means 1 damage. And he has to spend two mana and bring it back, which is does get painful over time. So now one thing just needs to hit him, and that's it. That's the aim. He's gonna kill that token. What would that token ever do to you? What would that token ever do to you? I could have buffed it. I'm not going to though, because next time we can just create more tokens, and three things dying is better than one, because it means three life damage. Now, I do realize that this here, when you get Emblem, whenever a creature deals, um, control deals combat damage, it doesn't work with the artists, just so you know. <laughs> it would be great if it did, though. More saplings! Turning this around. Very, very slowly. Okay. What's he doing? What would you do? Ritual foot? That would be really useful for you right now. Except it wouldn't hit much of my stuff. Oh, he's got one of these. Um, deals one damage to each opponent for each creature in your graveyard. It's gonna deal nine damage. <sighs> it's gonna kill me. It's gonna kill me! What do I do? What do I do? There's not much I can do, right? Hmm. I don't think there's anything I can do here. I can't sacrifice anything to deal damage to him. Yeah, I think he won! I think he won! I've got this, but it literally won't do anything. Yeah! Good job! 
really good job. I've never seen that card actually become useful, like ever, like super ever. Good job. That was really fun. Great game. I'm guessing he was like, oh my god, I just top deck to a win. <laughs> okay, so we're going to go and we're going to do another constructed event run. And we're going to do one run with uh, Deathly Terrors, one run with Lesnia maybe, one run with me. And we've also got a draft to do as well. But we'll just do the quick run with this. And I don't know, we'll, we'll probably do the draft maybe. Eh, not to Fury. Not to Fury. Please God, not to Fury. Fury's always like, never a great game. <laughs> okay, so we've got two land, one Playcrafter. Say, so, Overgrown 2, Forest, Playcrafter. And we've got Saffrolin! Zapperlings! They're so cute. They're like fungus that talks and they get eaten every now and then. Okay, so we have that enter tap. That's fine. Yeah, I know. It was a bit of a shame, but look, he top decked into a win. That's awesome for him. Like, he must be so happy right now. And I can, I can totally see why he'd be really happy with that. So that probably just made his day top decking into a win. Because I was like, I pulled a win! <laughs> so I'm just glad for him, to be honest. That was really fun. Good game. Okay, ritual soot and no land. But we can begin the assault with the sapperlings. Go get him, fungus things! And hopefully we get a land next. That'd be nice. Because we're pretty dry. We're running a high mana hand, we got a playcrafter. Um, oof. let's go to combat. We'll swing out with these, and then we'll play the playcrafter, maybe. No, no, we won't. We'll, we'll sit on that, because we don't have to discard yet, anyway. Get him! And, okay. He's really got no answer for a playcrafter, anyway, so if he's playing... Like he's, he's dropping mana after mana after mana and he's not doing anything with them. Which makes me a little bit concerned. So we'll drop out this archer now that we can. Yeah, more land. That's exactly what the deck means. It's got instances though. He's sitting there, sitting on a pile of instances. Because it's pausing after each thing I play in that. Okay. Go get him! Yeah, if I had um, a little bit more health from that Vasca, like... Two more turns of health from that last year, it could have been different as well. He had a really interesting deck though, that zombie might, I don't know, there was only one death baron in that deck and no draw power though. So, usually when that happens it's one of those awkward moments. What is this guy doing? Five white mana, no creatures. So I guess we just keep hitting him, right? In the face. Keep the assault up. But we're not going to use, in case he's got to settle, we're not going to use the archer. We want the archer in reserve. What is this deck? Is it like a Tefiri deck and it's only drawing white of his planes? He's like planes. It is! Oh my god, it's a Tefiri deck and he wasn't getting any blue mana. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. That's like really, really cool. Um... What should we do? He's like, good game. Uh, he's just gonna quit, yeah. <laughs> oh, that poor guy. Minor screwing really happens on Arena, though. It's, it's... Look, I know it happens a lot in real life, though, so it's hard to make the call going, Minor must be pretty screwed in the Arena. But you get Minor screwed on Arena more often than ever. Like, it happens so often. Okay, so we've got Evan and Death Omen. Cool. What do we got now? Okay, we have one land, but we're not sitting on that, even though we have the rat. We have two lands, we'll sit on that. And land is there, okay, there's our black land. Really good hand, happy with that. We're just gonna have Sapperlings everywhere. Ah, oh, give for a red deck. He's nice, he said hello, so we'll start low as well. He's gonna start laying into me now. You watch. It's like, hi! Bang, bang, bang! Okay. 
saplings. We need all the saplings. You know, there's gotta be chain weller in here, and it's just gonna kill like all my saplings. <laughs> so I'm not too worried about throwing them under the bus here. If he attacks with these guys, I'm just gonna be like, lock it with two, lock it with two, lock it with two. <laughs> kill everything. Lock two, two, lock two, two. You can kill my saplings, because I know that you probably have a chain weller in there somewhere anyway. You gonna shock one of my saplings? He's thinking. Yeah, he's gonna kill a sapling with a lightning bolt. Oh, it's actually a really good trade off for me. Like, super good trade off. Because we're just getting more saplings and we're working our way to a ritual to it. So, it's fine. Here we go, more saplings. And saplings! They're so cute. Look at them. Little tent tentacle fungus things. I know. I definitely want to block that. Hey, he's held it reserve. He's like, no, 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 don't block it. We'll do the exact same thing as last time. Double block. <laughs> he's like, stop sending saplings. I'm like, no! Saplings are my life's blood at this point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm holding out as long as I can, mate. <laughs> like, literally, that is all I'm doing. I'm mean, just holding out. Until I get one more mine. Hey, we killed him! We finally killed one! Oh my god, that was like the longest time in the world. Um... Combat? Is that an instant? No, it's a sorcery. No attackers, and... Alright. We want to we wanna kill a few more of his stuff, so we'll see what he does this turn. I'm assuming a lightning bolt more creatures would be interesting. We've got no blockers. And we'll deal one damage. Yeah, why is he playing anything bigger though? Um, I'm a little bit concerned about that. So I guess we'll play this and attract the lightning bolt. Because this thing attracts lightning bolt like crazy. It's gonna even happen on my turn, not even on his. Um, no attackers. Just in case. Yeah. Knew that lightning bolt was coming right. Kindling Phoenix. That's a good card. Very good card. Hmm. Such a good card that I really don't know what I'm going to do. I really don't know what I'm going to do there. It's going to have to be like a two turn thing, I think. So we're going to have a Golden Demise, maybe? Just kill that. Okay, so that's gone. Now, let's all skip one hit that. We need something that's gonna... Ah, here we go. Got a little bit of trap, don't we? Um... No! No, we kind of needed that for this plan! <laughs> I love Elemental Fury, uh, Experimental Fury by the way, it's a great card. Um, we're gonna have to slow it down. Ooh, what to do? What to do? I guess we can do that. We don't have enough for a resource foot to finish off the token. But we do have a, we have the ability to kill the Killing Phoenix. It's gonna create, uh, a little token thing. He's going to get back to Phoenix pretty much straight away. Yeah. Not much we can do. Like, this Phoenix is... Mm, my mana is just a bit too pointy. I guess there's a few other things we can do. Yeah, good game. It was fun. That was a good game. Very good game. Like... Ugh, I had a lot of removal, but nothing in particular to use, and no mana, so, yeah. Killing my creatures worked out really well for him that time. Extremely well. Ah, we'll go play. And let's see what we get next time. Well, it was against Burn. Burn is extremely hard to try and hold out against. <laughs> Okay. 
I've got a foul orchard that's going to get played first. Got costly plunders and no creature to costly plunder. Don't have a good feeling about this. Ah, oh, it's white. White is actually kind of promising. Um, pretty much either way. Uh oh. White blue. Got Kaviri again. Why is it always Kaviri? He's just always there, right? Um, okay. We'll just go in and then I guess we will destroy that search for Kanza. Another great. Is it grateful? You don't have enough left for a counter though. Goodbye. Boom! So much blue. Woo. You got a hex root from black. Pity when you sacrifice it doesn't matter. I could ritual sort as well, but I'm not going to. We'll just use a play crafter. And they're both dead. And... What's the mana? Ah, Lyra. And... She's dead. <laughs> ah, poor Mythics. Getting taken down by a Blade Crafter. <laughs> that Lyra though, she's extremely powerful. Like, whoa. Who does that? 5 mana for 5-5. Five five, first strike, flying lifeline. Because out of angels, plus one, plus one. Like... What the hell were they thinking? <laughs> Do you have counter spells in there? Like, because you're always making, you always stop there for a second. Now you have a dream eater. This deck is extremely, like, just. How many mythics is it been already? One. Mm, two mythics. Two mythics so far. So, I'm going to use both. Gold Finder to get back his Plague Crafter, which I can then cast to kill his Dream Eater unless he gets something else. Um, I don't think Ritual Soot's going to be too handy this time. Probably should have used that earlier on that one little two drop. Okay, so he's got two mana left. Going to attack with the Dream Eater. Fine, we're going to murder the Dream Eater next turn unless he counter spells it. Uh, yeah. Goodbye! Counter spell? Yeah, he's got a council. Whew. He must be dying for those, because it's like they've been like plaguing the crap out of him. Um, we can't do much anyway. Actually, no, we'll hit him first. We'll go to combat. We'll attack. Smack him in the face. He might win with that if, we, if I can't get back on top of it. Let's kill that. We'll get that. Draw some more cards. Oh, poison tabarches. Okay, so that's where we're going to have to go next turn, is into poison tabarches. Um, is he a tree drop? No, he's a six drop. So we can't use Vast of the Killing. He's jump starting. Another search for a Kanza, probably, is what he's looking for. This is a crucial card for control players. If you can kill it early, it really annoys him most of the time. Oh! Okay. Do you have a counter spell? About to find out. Yes, yes, you do. No, you don't. <laughs> don't have a counter spell. And he's dead. <laughs> was binding. <laughs> He's like, God damn you. Uh, is that a three drop? Okay, yeah, I can't use Vasca to kill it. No, nah, I cannot use Vasca to kill it. Alright, um, how much time have we got? We got five. Let's go to Vasca now. He's done that. Because he can cancel Vasca, but at this point, he might not have one. Considering that he's pretty much top decking. Like, he's drawing, but he's top decking at the same time. Counter? Unless I pay three. Yeah, cool. Pathetic. No problem. We're attracting those counter spells. Definitely attracting them. Lyra's back! Look at that! That's what... That's a mythic as well. So that's... How many mythics are we up to? Five mythics, I think? Maybe? I think we're up to five mythics. Um, at this point I'm just gonna... Oof, Lyra's gonna destroy me. Yeah, Lyra's gonna destroy me. I'm gonna have to track out a poison to Archer, but she's got first strike anyway. Oh, this is gonna be so painful. He's got a really weird control deck. You know Tefiri's in there somewhere. Literally, you know Tefiri's in there somewhere. He, he's probably just going and going, What do I have that's mythic? And just like start chucking them into a deck. <laughs> I 
Okay. Yeah, that's the theory. Um. If you show remorse, I hurry. Don't really have anything to do here. This is like, yeah. This has got me locked down. We could ritual soot, kill these two guys here, but you've got a counter spell for Shorzies. Uh, since we're gonna die next turn, let's just cross the thunder and see if we can draw to something fun. Yeah, fucking scriptures is always fun. Let's play a rap. Dirty, dirty rap. Discard something. Let me discard. Seal away. Discard something. <laughs> I just want to see what else was in your hand. Literally. That's, that's the only reason I'm playing these rats. Two seal away. <laughs> yeah, okay. GG. <laughs> Ooh, Tefiri decks. And how many mythics? That's insane. That was six mythics, including Tefiri. And you know there's a place of Tefiri in there, so. Place of Lyra. That, that's insane. Insane amount of mythics. Long wild cards are known to a player. So I'll see them face it up. Okay. Woodland Cemetery, keep. Why not? We've got a Golden Demise, we've got two blacks. If we get any other mana, we can actually use the Golden Demise. It's not too bad. Hey, it's a Merfolk deck. Okay, we don't want that mana like as soon as we can now. We're definitely going to want that mana. If we can Golden Demise a Merfolk deck, that would be really, really good. Does it think? Yeah, that's normal. Do damage, yep. We're gonna play some saplings just so we got that card out. Give us some blockers, slow down his attack. I will kind of want him to play a few more creatures anyway. Now the river snake, I want him to burn through his um, merfolk as soon as he can. That'd be really, really good. Yeah, you can hit me for two. That's fine. There's that mana. Oh. But we can take a bit more damage. <clears throat> we'll go no attackers, we'll go end. And we'll go for another turn of pain. So, we're looking at at least four damage this turn. Probably three, six. They're gonna get plus one plus one, then they're gonna get plus one plus one, so it's six damage. Ooh, that's a lot of pain. But, one thing I want to point out right now is the fact that we can probably kill those Merfolk. Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. We just have to kill... The two Lords are gonna be really a problem. Um... They're gonna be a big problem, actually. So these guys are gonna drop back down to three threes, but those two Lords are just destroying me out there. We're going to need to kill a lord, otherwise we're going to die. But, we're going to die anyway. Because the Merfolk are extremely strong. I'm wondering if anything... Nah, we couldn't even hurt them. It's fine. Probably should have done it the turn before. Yeah, we should definitely have done it the turn before. Never hold back on the Merfolk deck. Always rip it apart. <laughs> okay, I think that's that. Yeah, that is definitely that. Okay. So, let's see what we've got. Curious Obsession, that's actually really good to get another one off. They're really strong cards. Yeah, four of the Herald. Really good card as well. Okay, so we got a thousand gold and we have gems. So we're gonna go for the draft. But, first we're just going to swap the stream. So I hope you're all having a good time and join me back for the draft here shortly. <laughs>